Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS addresses questions about medical expenses related to nutrition, wellness, and general health. Address questions about medical expenses, huh? I mean, knowing the government, that probably means they're going to literally put a dress on the questions and then, like, post pictures of it to, to a TikTok account or something. And, you know, as if that's helpful. Then they'll be like, Was it, weren't we helpful with that? But seriously, like, I've had a lot of parents who had to spend a lot of time and money preventing their child from getting, like, 20 COVID shots with no evidence the risks outweigh the benefits. I mean, they had to scurry around fending off fibbing Fauci followers, some having to pay for homeschooling. And, and I feel like those expenses should be qualified medical expenses. Why? Because we should be incentivizing preventative care, a primary component of which is keeping your kid away from drug dealers. You know, I don't, I don't care if those drug dealers work for Mexican drug cartels, Big Pharma, or some Chinese lab in Wuhan for crying out loud. Labs possibly funded by Fibbing Fauci. Hold on, hold on a second here. I'm starting to think they're all in it together. What? Just one giant cartel. Dang gangsters. I mean, they actually normalized mask wearing so nobody can see their tells. I mean, honestly, like, like I thought it was cheating when some dude rolls into the poker table with dark sunglasses on so you can't see his eyes. But these guys took it to a whole nother level. Strolling up to the podium with full face masks, behind which they've been pulling some of the biggest bluffs you've ever seen. I tell you what, I mean honestly, they've got stuff so turned around it's crazy. Like it used to be, it used to be like normal people would have a certain degree of natural skepticism when someone with a mask on tells them to do something. Like normally, if if some mask guy told me to shut down my business. I generally assume he had a gun or something, or possibly that he's crazy, in which case I'd pay about as much attention to him as a major league pitching recruiter pays to fibbing Fauci's professional baseball prospects, you know? I mean, but, 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 but they actually got to the point there for a bit where wearing a mask generated more respect for authority than a police officer showing his badge. Even if the mask wearer was currently filling shopping carts full of liquor at a grocery store and then just strolling out the door with it. I mean, it's, it's crazy times, man. I tell you what. Honestly, like when the medical profession cashes in its goodwill, abandoning the Hippocratic Oath of do no harm by slinging drugs and cutting off body parts for money, it's scary. I mean, like it's... It's no surprise when people start reacting with, a, you know, just a little bit of skepticism. It's like, okay, so what's the new, what's the new plan this time? What do they want to do this time? Oh, I see. Fibbing Fauci wants to give me another ouchie, and Rachel Levine wants to cut off my testes. But, but just for 15 days, you know, to slow the spread. Because it's totally reversible. It's like, I don't think so. I don't think so. I draw the line at the foreskin, dang it. And to be honest, like I'm starting to question that whole procedure at this point. I never put my foot down about anything, no. but I am severely tempted to do it over this. No, Homer. Marge, I'm sorry. I think it's coming down. No, Homer, it's no. coming down my no, foot. No. That's it, Marge. It's coming down. The cable stays. The foot is broken. But whatever. Anyways, on to the news. IR 2023-47, March 17th, 2023, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today posted frequently asked questions. There's a link to that here that addressed whether certain costs related to nutrition, wellness, and general health are medical expenses that may be paid or reimbursed under a health savings account, otherwise known as an HSA, Health Flexible Spending Arrangement, an FSA, Archer Medical Saving Account, an Archer MSA, or a health reimbursement arrangement and HRA. These FAQs frequently asked questions are part of the national strategy on hunger, nutrition, and health. There's a link to that here. The national strategy provides a roadmap of actions the federal government will take to end hunger and reduce diet-related diseases by 2023. 
Um, I, again, a little bit of skepticism over here. It'll work about as well as that old food pyramid they had that resulted in everybody like being obese or something. But maybe that, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'll do my own research, but I'll check it out. Generally, a deduction is allowed for expenses paid during the taxable year for medical care if certain requirements are met. Alternatively, medical expenses are eligible to be paid or reimbursed under an HSA, FSA, Archer, MSA, or HRA. The FAQs address issues such as whether the cost of nutritional uh, counseling, weight loss programs, gym membership treatment, for substance use disorders are considered medical expenses that may be paid or reimbursed under HSA, FSA, Archer, MSA, or HRA. See, these are the questions that come up when they started to deduct the medical expenses, which has always been kind of an interesting area because they wanted to incentivize medical expenses, of course, so people can afford medical care if that makes sense. But it also kind of subsidizes certain industries and there's a bunch of gray area in terms of what qualifies for medical expenses and uh, what doesn't qualify for medical expenses. You can imagine there's been a lot of different kind of weird scenarios, people going on vacation and saying their doctor said that they should have gone on vacation. That's typically not something that would be allowed as a medical expense, but you could see people trying to argue that kind of situation. If you had a situation where you're gonna buy like a whirlpool, which is basically a jacuzzi or something like that, there's all these kind of weird situations. And then the next thing that comes up oftentimes is the categorization of something as being a disease or not. So now we've got this categorization problem because if you categorize something as a medical illness or a disease of some kind, then you're, you're able to legally more likely be able to argue that you should get compensation for expenses related to something categorized as a disease. And the thing that's kind of troublesome to me about that is they start to categorize things as diseases that might be more properly, healthily treated as like habit type forming things, such as weight, like if you have obesity or something like that, people are actually incentivized to get into the category of being a disease related to obesity or something like that, if they were able to then d take deductions or get benefits for like things like food, like dietary food, th those are some arguments that kind of come up with this. And I would think that, you know, to me, to tell someone that, that what they have is a disease, it, if, it, if it's more of a behavioral thing, it seems like to me, you're putting something in their mind in order to get money, a tax benefit or something like that, which may not be the proper structure health-wise for them, right? You, I mean, I would think it might be more healthy to think of it as something you have control of with, with your behavior possibly than a disease. I'm not sure if that's exactly true or not, but I do think that some of this push towards things being labeled as a disease are financially related because then if it's labeled as a disease, you might be able to get a deduction for it but now you have to basically constantly be putting down and labeling yourself as having a disease, which seems mentally not healthy if you can frame it as something you have control over. But so it's kind of a weird situation, this whole health uh, situation and, and the taxes and the labelings and all this stuff. So in any case, for more information about whether costs related to nutrition, wellness, and general health are medical expenses, see publication 502, medical and dental expenses. There's a link to that here. And tax topic 502, medical and dental expenses. There's a link to that. For more information about HSAs, FSAs, Archer MSAs, and HRAs, you can see publication 969, health savings account, and other tax-favored health plans. There's a link to that. There'll be a link to this in the description.